Oh my God, you clicked on this video. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in to the People's Channel. <laughs> Orchids for dummies. In today's video, I just want to give a couple of Phalaenopsis care tips growing in the method of water culture. The children keep blowing up my phone asking, what is the water level supposed to be? Is it full water culture? Is it semi-water culture? Stay tuned, darling. So first things first, Fail Pals, I do not watch the other channels, so I don't really know how they grow. So all I can do is tell you what I do here on Orchids for Dummies. Now, thanks to Fail Pal Diana, which is just a regular person, but she has a channel, Diana's Orchids. She has only four subscribers. But girl, when I tell you, honey, she is the main reason, along with Fal Pal Fifi. Check those old videos. Fifi done changed her name to Karina. But but thanks to those two beautiful women, I'm having the success that I'm having growing in the method of water culture. Now, I don't know anything about semi and fool. All I know is keeping it clean and keeping it cute. So these darlings have been in this water now for a week. This is normally the day that I do my water changes. And as I said, the more that you um, clean off that decaying matter, okay, and not put in fertilized water in there, look, the glass is dirtier than the water. It's a no judgment zone. But that's what I wanted because I'm here busy watering my orchids indoors. My potted Phalaenopsis orchids. So girl, I would be, it's just not enough time in the day. So thank God for being able to stick these orchids in some water and they're going to be just fine. So thank you, thank you, thank you. One, two, three, like this video. Okay. So if you had not known in a previous video, I was showing the children adding charcoal, activated charcoal to your water to be able to make your Phalaenopsis orchids stay in water, you know, not full time because I already grow it 24 seven. But with, I want to be able to just add water and keep it going. Now, some of you guys are saying full water culture is up here. I don't know. I think somebody said something about some dry days. I don't know. What I believe in is, is making it easy, okay, and not putting a gimmick to it. Anybody can do this. This is the same thing as this. This is water culture. This is what my mama do. This is what my mama, my mama got plants all over the house just like this. So it's it's nothing different, okay? It's nothing different at all. Don't let don't get confused, okay? This is the first step right here. This is the orchid that's in water culture because it has to be in water culture. And you see how dirty that water is compared to the glass vase? You have to keep it cleaner than that in order for you to leave it 24/7. In addition, now if you have all of this um decaying matter I, I really should have clarified that uh, I do apologize when you have that decaying matter like that you don't want it all the way up to the base only when you have cut off all of the roots which I don't suggest if you look at this phalaenopsis orchid right here you see all these strings another fail pal asked me why you got all those strings on your orchid Girl, girl, those strings are roots. Now, while they might not be able to tolerate fertilizer, I don't know. I have not tried it. But they are able to absorb water. That is the main thing. 
the first step to rehabilitating your Phalaenopsis orchid is not cutting, slicing and dicing and adding herbs and spices, okay? I can show you an orchid that you want to do all of that too. That's a whole different video. But in today's video, I just want to share with you the first step, if you didn't slice and dice and you see you got some stuff still coming off, this stuff is naturally going to come off in time. Give it time. But you want to keep that water as clean as possible. So if you are, I don't use tap water. I don't use tap water. I don't do it. I don't do it. I don't do it. This mama collects the rainwater off of her roof. That is what I do. That is what I do. Stay tuned. This video. So here is an orchid that was sent to me from someone else. Okay. She had just now started to um, get it to grow roots. But because it was allocated. I mean, I'm sorry. I said allocated. <laughs> but um, once it was transported from, from her location to my location that caused a sick orchid to be under even more stress so i do believe that um initially when she got here there was some setback and then she went dormant so i say that not to make this a lengthy video but to reassure you that girl this takes time this takes time so over six months now we are seeing new root production okay so naturally, those leaves are going to drop off because you shouldn't be fertilizing it. There are, you know, different ways to fertilize it as far as a foliar feed. And, you know, some people say that it can absorb nutrients through the leaves. But girl, if you don't do the slicing and dicing, you don't even have to go through all of that. Why would you want to go through that? Okay. So now that we have the new root production, we still want the base of the Phalaenopsis in water. You see? Halfway in, halfway out. And that's because it had no roots at all. Now, if you take a look at these, okay, I can show you or you can pretty much see where the water level, water level normally goes up here. Okay, and because I like it right up under the base or the stem like this little darling right here i suffered with her for a long time because she kept having ooey and gooey and i did not know where the ooey and gooey um had come from but now she is able to be in water 24 7. that is what we want so you can see the stem right down there i still would like to keep the water level right up there where you see the white residue Okay. This is actually, you know, I said it's been a week. So I would have the water level up here. That's what works for me because I like to, I don't want to have to change the water at all. <laughs> this is the one with the charcoal because this orchid right here is the one that had the most algae. I will leave a link to that video. But I just want you to see that as long as there is nothing rotty, as long as you have um, gotten your orchid clean enough, okay, to be in water 24-7, you're, you're good. Now, this right here, because, you know, some people have gone crazy with my black mold video. And every, every orchid that you have does not necessarily needs to be, you know, clean with the toothbrush. And, um... I know this orchid, okay? I know the history of this orchid. And that stem has been this color um, for its entirety, if I'm not mistaken. But you can see that the water is clean. There's no mold growing, no active mold, okay? This is just discoloration, girl, from over time, okay? Because she's been through some stuff. But as long as it's, it's not ooey and gooey and growing mold on it, then you're okay. You're okay. So you want to keep that um, up here because I'm going to show you 
what they look start to look like when it's not all the way up there, okay? Especially when we're talking about a sick phalaenopsis. Stay tuned. This little darling right here, okay? The water is not actually touching the stem, okay? But it is a high water level. Now, keep in mind, not all phalaenopsis orchids are going to um, have a good time or easy time adapting to water culture. This orchid right here is saying, help me, save me, please get me out of here. I'm not going to be able to take it. But unfortunately, um, she has been in here too long now. So now it's you got to do it or else. So we have a new leaf coming in. I will keep you guys updated. Okay, but you got to stay tuned. Let me show you another example another example okay you see this this baby the water level would be down here okay because you know it's keeping up natural humidity but girl that humidity is not going to give you that much humidity i will show you what i mean in a moment okay now with your phalaenopsis orchids make sure that you're not sitting them in water like this you see that you see it you see it mm. you see it not only is the water level too high but girl this is actually fertilized water now foul play foul pals please back me up because i did let them know immediately once I realized I had left this baby in fertilized water, which I even say in my videos not to do. But girl, mama had ate and went to sleep because watering these orchids, it takes so long, it takes so long. But you see that little baby back there? Okay, once they are strong and healthy, this is the end of the story. Once the roots are strong and healthy, and you know you have to, um, you know, a hard time with sustaining the length okay of the bars then you can start lowering lowering okay we being real lowering the water levels okay but until you get to and that means it's truly acclimated like it's truly in love and used to water culture okay but it's going to be a process it could be six months to a year and like I said, sometimes you will have orchids that just naturally, naturally adapts to water culture. But until they do, keep that water at least right there, okay? And all of the, the decaying matter, like I said, over time will come off once you rinse off their roots when you change the water. So I hope that that made sense. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment box below. I hope that you guys have a wonderful, happy growing. Until next time.